Justin Time Plumbing. My name is Justin. I have Steven here. He's one of our technicians. So what we're going to do today, if you look at this right here, we've got a two inch cast line underneath a slab that's giving some customers some issues of stopping up. Um, we have run a, a rotary drain machine down it, but as you can tell in here, there's still tons of buildup. So what we're going to do today is we have our rigid sea snake camera, which is a, a great little, great little system. Everything's battery powered. You don't have to run cords. And then we have our rigid uh, flex shaft. So with this right, with this setup, we'll be able to run down through here and uh, and chain clean with carbide tip chain clean the cast iron, and then we'll be able to verify it with our camera. And, and this way, we ensure that our customers get the best job possible. Um, uh, you know, a lateral line like that. A lot of times, it'll have grease build up and, and all, all kind of lime scale and stuff. So anyway, we're going to get this started. If you'll look at the screen one more time. Let's go down just a little bit farther, Steven. So we can see where it starts pinching up there. Yeah. It's actually went, it's, it's formed a little bit better channel since the last time we were here, to be honest with you. You know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure has. Yeah. There's some. Yeah. Now, there's where it's starting yeah. to build so, up. Anytime you start having, yeah, you start having this right here, this is, is going to be your snowball effect. It'll start catching fast. But, yeah. Now it's really starting to narrow up there. Okay. All right. So that's what we wanted to see there. We're starting to get water. Uh, and essentially, this is just grease, lime scale, just, you know, just years and years. And this, this is a way of revitalizing the cast under slab without having to do major, major saw cutting and, and replacement. Yeah. All right. That's good there, Steve. All right. So we're going to start with the flex shaft. I've changed the tips, put these carbide chain on here. Uh, Steven's going to get it started in here. And, uh. Then we're gonna go behind it with the camera while it's actually working so we can video and, and, and watch the progress of it. Um, probably have you run some water for us too, a little bit as it were. So here we go. All right, so now after running our rigid chain cleaner twice, we're gonna go back in this two inch line and uh, we're, we're just gonna check, make sure the instructions are gone. And, uh, and check it out. So here it goes. So, so what we're looking for here is we're, we're looking for right here. You can see the pipes back around again. We don't have those two great big ridges of grease and sediment built up. We only have one small channel going through. Uh, and that, that looks, well, that looks fantastic right there. So you can start getting back some into the original pipe right here around the bottom. Yeah, that's essentially what we were what we were going for there. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to do some before and after pictures. I show the video first, a picture of it. That, that's uh, I mean, cast iron's rough from day one, and there's still some stuff up top here lingering that a jitter or something like that would take out. Um, but from my experience, this is still leaps and bounds better than just a regular um, a, a regular cable cleaner. All right, we did, we did a two inch pipe with the chain leak cleaner. We cambered it first and then we went through the chain leak uh, with two different heads. Then we uh, then we recambered it. We appreciate you for watching. We're just in top plumbing. Thank you much.